Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's viewer requested question from Hardcores D, how much does the Harrier vector thrust help with turn rate? Now I'm going to assume that he's talking about sustained turn rate. So when it comes to turn rate, you've got instant turn rate, instantaneous turn rate, which is non-sustainable, so you can do it a little bit and then you're going to run out of energy, or sustained turn rate. Very hard for me to empirically, if you like, measure instantaneous turn rate so we're just going to go for sustained turn rate will it help with instantaneous turn rate yes we've we've tested that um non-empirically and it definitely does but today we're looking at the empirical measurement of sustained turn rate and it is an interesting question with respect the manual does show a maneuver to increase the harrier's turn rate turn the nozzles to a certain degree and help with turn rate okay so it's as simple as that now let's go and look at the data that we've got so far now when i measure this i've measured this direct from dcs so we know what how the dcs planes actually fly uh, as compared to the real aircraft um to ever check any aircraft and whatnot and here is peak sustained turn rate with 50 percent gas in the bird so it's important to know that but otherwise we've got a drag coefficient of zero hence no uh, articles no uh, external weapons and pylons removed if they can be removed we can see what the fa18c is the king in dcs whether that's true to real life i just don't know but for 20 ca uh, tasks it can do 22 degrees per second with 50 percent gas the harrier is a really interesting specimen it can only do 15 degrees per second which is kind of what we would expect it's just not a turn fighter you can tell by the wing shape and whatnot but interestingly it does that at a very low speed which is quite useful although it doesn't have a high turn rate it can turn quite tightly if turned optimally and we get that in a band between 280 and 330 TAS. These are all done on the deck in ISA conditions. This is done with zero nozzles, so we're just going to go rerun it now in the low band of 280 to 300 roughly with nozzles at 20, with nozzles at 40, and with nozzles at 60. I don't think there's much point of going any further than that because it's, going to, it's just going to stall itself out immediately if we go any higher. And see what we get. Predictions, RC. Do you think nozzles will help or not? Theoretically, they could help, but I'm not sure... I think they could do much. I think they could. So to do any all of these planes to do this peak sustained turn rate in these conditions have to be flying at a high angle of attack. The problem with a high angle of attack is that it changes the vector of your thrust, as you can imagine. The thrust is now pointing in a different direction. And we can overcome that in the Harrier because we can physically change the vector of our thrust to make it more efficient for our angle of attack. So I think it'll work. However, I don't know, I'm no expert as you know. So um we're gonna see. Stand by. Just to reiterate the conditions are will be on the deck uh, we've got zero drag index we are at isa conditions we've got 50 percent gas and that's it so i'm pause slow down because we're going to it's going to be at a slow speed bracket on this aircraft we're going to go down to 20 percent nozzles first of all okay full power and it's going to be without water because that's how we did the other experiments and just uh, get a little slower okay let's power roll up out. and get it roll done out. roll out roll out Roll out, roll out. Actually, it feels roll out, roll out. fairly fast. Roll out, roll out. Power, power. Okay, let's start upping that speed. Two sixty. Two seventy. Should don't forget I'll see we've got red flag on Saturday. Two eighty. Two ninety. Three hundred. Roll out, roll out. Roll out, roll out. Three ten. Oh, one of my own wake turbulence there. Three twenty. Caution, caution. 
3.30, she's starting to struggle. I think it's the angle of attack's a bit too low. And we'll try 340, but I think we're getting a little slower now, to be honest. Okay, let's try um, 40 degrees. We've got a new plane, just in case we've damaged the engine. I don't know. I can't remember how the engine damage works. You're running about 10 degrees AOA. Yeah, it was a 10 degrees AOA at the beginning, I'll say. I didn't, yeah. I didn't get a chance to look. Okay, that's interesting. Right, um, we're going to go 40 now. And we're going to go everything otherwise the same. Off we uh, slow down first. Roll out, roll out. Roll out. Got on the Roll deck. Out. Okay. Roll out. Roll Power out. on. 40 degrees. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Yeah, so Roll about 15 out. degrees Roll angle out. of attack now. No, hang on. Roll out. Roll out. 13. Power. Power. Two fifty, two sixty, To eighty. Roll out, roll out. To ninety. I'm aware this isn't the most interesting thing in the world, but it is good science. There's no math. There's no yes, there's no math today, I see. There will be in a bit. Anyway, it's maths, maths, mathematics. Roll out, roll out. Roll out, roll out. 300. Alpha's 10. Roger. 310. Roll out, roll out. Roll out, roll out. 320 3.30 3.40 Okay. One more time, folks. One more time. And we're going for ba -ba -da -ba -da, 60 degrees. I don't believe it's going to turn with 60 degrees, but you never know. You never know, I'll see. Yeah, 60 degrees. Funny, it's going weird. Feels slower to me. Two sixty. Two seventy. Roll out, roll 
280. Your AOA is only 8. Yeah, I don't think it's turning at all. Skip to 300, but I don't think I'm turning at all here. Roll out, roll out. Oh, got to be careful, I might be wrong. I can tell by the G roll if it's out. not putting roll any out. G and it's not putting any G. Roll 300. Roll out. We're just getting so inefficiently roll out. Roll out. affected thrust like this. Roll out, roll out. Roll out, roll out. Still no G. 310 320 330 Roll out, roll out And Roll out, roll out. It's pretty crap to be honest. Things the viewers are waiting. They want for that the data. Maths. They want that data set. They're like, Cap, Cap, give us they the data set. Math. Data set. Okay, so here is Super Cap, and we're going to go and run one. So we've got uh, 12, 15, 60. Ooh, we had, a, we had a 16 degrees there. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to go back and analyze mm. this a little better, but I saw definitely seeing 16. Almost certainly seeing 16, still seeing 16, still seeing 16. So we've got an extra degree per second with uh, 20 degrees of VIF. Which is kind of as, as what I thought, basically, actually. Uh, whether it's worth doing that for one degree a second, pff, maybe. Don't know. Yeah. Still to 16, I'm seeing 16 peak. Uh, so up to about... It's slowing down now. So the powers, you see, because as we get faster, the angle of attack gets lower. Therefore, the vector thrust angle is no longer, uh, God, how do I explain that? As efficient, effective. Yeah, th as effective. Right. The higher the angle of attack, or the closer towards 20, uh, the better. Um, what we, uh, the, probably the most efficient way would be something like 8 degrees angle of, uh, 8 degrees uh, vector thrust out at these uh, speeds, maybe. But you're starting to split hairs a bit then. So I'd say from about here about three up to 320 from pretty much here 250 to 320 i'm going to write down uh 250 for 320 i got i i could uh, do modulations of 16 degrees per second uh, which was at 20 degrees okay next let's check our 40 degrees okay in we go so I think it's going to get less efficient because the vector thrust is further away from now from the plane of motion, which is about 15 degrees right. off bore down to about 8 degrees, which is basically the angle of attack. Uh, so it probably will get less efficient. So turn rate, 12. Oh, well, look at that. 16. 16. Nearly 17. Now, I was not expecting this. 16. Kind of high 15s. And it gets less efficient now as the angle of attack is going down. And we're down to 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 14 and 15 is much more efficient lower down, which is what we thought because I didn't think it would be so good as it was. Though, so let's head back. So we're starting at 240. And you're going to, I'm not going to turn much lower than 240. So this is all 16 from 240 to 240. So that was its peak. And then we don't go up to 16 again. We go back down to 15. So our peak, I'm just going to check it looks legal. So what we have to do, if, it, if you're worried about it, just play it through, watch the speed, watch the altitude, make sure you're not trading anything. And we're not, the speed's constant. That is, a, that, that, that is 16 degrees per second for shiz. So uh, that was just at 240. So in a band, a very, so at 40 degrees, in a very small band uh, of 240 knots, then we got 16 degrees per second. Now we're gonna go to 60 degrees, which 
probably is going to be really shit because it's the thrust is so inefficient at that point i think and it's kind of plane of motion so let's have a look turn rate nine. Oh, 16 wow okay a bit weird but no it doesn't it looks like a non-sustained so what you do you have to make sure we're not losing speed when it took for it to be sustained and we are losing speed there so we can discount that and try again 10, 11, 12. To be honest, about 11 degrees. So to finish the video off, here are our final results put it back into the chart. So with the zero nozzle, we have an OK band from 280 to 330 TAS um, at 15 degrees per second. And then it tails off because the Harrier just doesn't work faster for some reason. Then we've got a 20 degrees nozzle, in which case at more or less the same band, or in fact a slightly wider band, 250 to 320, we get a, a higher peak sustained turn rate of 16 degrees per second. Which So you, you get an extra degree per second, basically. Uh, so there you go, that answers the question. At 40 degrees, the band gets smaller, and that's important. So although the figure's the same, peak is 16 point. 16 degrees per second you only get that at 240 tas if you increase speed then it dies off and gets worse so the band is almost as important as the um uh, so it's one thing you're looking at the f18c there although it is 22 degrees per second it is a very tight band you've got to get it at 420 tas in those conditions so it's just something to bear in mind and if you go to 60 degrees uh, nozzle it's just so far out of its plane of motion that it just doesn't turn at all but i thought i'd leave it in there that answers the question it is myth confirmed i hope that was useful and see you later